Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If this is your first time to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. Uh, I am so sorry I have been... <laughs> I ghosted you all, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't been out in a long time. And um, I that's why I hadn't been out here in a while. But it is Saturday... Um, November 18th and so I have uh, my sister's been coming out watering and she fertilized some this week and so um, I have some plants here um, those are my rutabagas and on the other side of them is um, turnips well this is aphids all in it and um so we i don't know my sister's been spraying them and they just won't go away so uh i'm just going to turn you around and let you see what's going on so i don't know i think these are little gnats I don't know. I think they're the aphids. See, they are all over these leaves and they are everywhere. And so I am wanting to just take these plants out and get rid of them. And I, I don't even want this tool no more. But that's where we are with those. Um, these, I don't know, because my sister had been spraying, but, uh, these had aphids on them before we had the freeze, last freeze, and, um, they just, uh, they won't go away, they won't go away, so, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but. I don't want them to make it over there to my cabbage. <laughs> so I feel like I want to take them out, all the plants, and probably move these grow bags somewhere away from here. Um, I don't know, but we are about to get to work and uh, see what we're going to do with these. Okay, you all. So. Um, some of you may think that I am crazy, or it may hurt your feelings, what I'm about to do, but I'm taking these plants out of here. I am taking these plants out. Look at this. They're everywhere. That's that's horrible. And then you spray and they go away and then they be right back the next day. <laughs> that's how they do. Okay, so I took them all out and Now they all over the ground <laughs> and they are uh, like all that that's them and they are all right there so they're all in the soil and I'm moving these out of here I don't know where I'm gonna put them but they are going out of here there is a ladybug in there and I guess she trying to take care of the situation, but there's so many of them. It's just, look, they're all over the bags. And so I have got to move them out of here, move these bags away from here. Okay, so. That's where they were, and 
I moved them. I moved them out here. I sprayed the bags off, sprayed the little tabletops off, and um, they just have to sit here until I can figure out what we're going to do with it. But uh, if they'll just go away, everything will be okay. But uh, I don't know. So I just had to get them away from the other uh, guard. I mean, the, the rest of the plants. Because I don't want them to move and take over the garden. So now I'm going to um, move back over to the garden and um, clip off some dead leaves. So I'll be right back. So these are my Brunswick cabbage and um, there's some pretty big leaves in here. Some are good, some are not so good like that. Let's just take that, put it in the compost. This one, oh no. I see aphids. Okay, so that one needs to go over there. See, it's been hanging on the ground, kinda. I don't see it anymore. see anymore. I was trying to be real careful so I wouldn't splash and get those over onto these because they were just right over there. It's a lot of dead leaves under here. I'm just get those out. Some of them got cross bit and um. Some of them are just laying on the soil. And that's no good for them. They're just so big. This is a nice leaf, but it's got aphids on it. They probably tried to make their way over here. There's a little cabbage head right there. See everything on that side over there. There's an aphids on them. Get the hose pipe and spray these. Okay, so I cleaned them up and sprayed them off. I took the tool off because they were all in the tool. And um, 
so it's just they were real bad on that side of it because that's where those other ones uh, planters were and so I probably came out here too late trying to take care of this but uh, that's what we're at now so I got some little leaves over here in the uh, broccoli that I want to take off I watered these and they are fine they don't have any aphids on them And I'm sorry if I'm in the way and you can't see. Really, really sorry. These look pretty good. I don't have any broccoli heads yet. But uh, the plants look really good. Got a little frostbite from uh, the freeze we got a couple weeks ago but they are overall they're fine but I think this is good for now I got my cabbage head right there and this is really pretty I'm gonna move over here to the Napa cabbage I'll be right back okay so this is a uh, Napa cabbage and red mustards. And um, those red mustards got started late. Well, they got transplanted late. And then there was a lot of um, pest eating on them. And they just kind of have struggled but that's where we are with those they're doing good oh, there's aphids on these aphids on these too Sit them right there. Ugh. I've never grown Napa cabbage. I think I, well, I did in the spring, but they bolted before I harvested them. So I'm not real sure. About when to harvest these. <laughs> but they probably see they frostbit. But it's a nice this is a nice head right here. I probably should take this. Harvest it. Well, the aphids all in this. They're all in it. Look at that. They're all right there. And I think what I'm going to do I may harvest this one. This is a nice head that's in there.
Oh, the aphids are really bad under there. this up. It says, look at all the aphids. They're all over it. And I'm going to spray this off and then I'll take it in the house. Okay, you all. So I have... Uh, cleaned out this Napa cabbage bed here. I sprayed it out and um, i just leave this open because they're in this tool too. <laughs> and um, I tried to spray the leaves the best I could. But uh, it don't seem like they have taken over these like they had taken over those rutabagas and turnips. And so um, this mustard that don't seem to be on them. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm probably going to leave this open because I just am. Um, these are the mustard greens, uh, Florida broadleaf mustard, red mustards and uh, collards and they are all fine but I'm going to take some of the leaves off of these two and uh, that's about it these mustards over here <clears throat> these are the cur curly leaf mustards and I have looked at them and they are fine I don't see any aphids on them but uh, these are going to be harvested and um, I think we're going to give them to our neighbor. And so that's that. Carrots are still doing good and um, spinach still doing good. And then my sister's green stock. Uh, tower still doing good and so I see some leaves like that one right there uh, that probably could be taken off and so that's just what I'm gonna do right now just do some maintenance that's about all I can do now <laughs> these days okay you all so this is a uh, a little small harvest that I have for the day. These are chives. Uh, this is my sage. And um, this rosemary. I don't know. I went ahead and harvested it because I have not harvested from it this season. But um, I bought that one. And it didn't handle the freeze too good. So it kind of died back. But uh, I'm almost thinking that it's going to come back next year anyway. But um, these are some carrots that I had growing in a grow bag over there. And so I harvested those. I also have this Napa cabbage that um, it had aphids all over it. But um, this is my very first uh, Napa cabbage. And um, I just harvested and sprayed it off, sprayed all the aphids off that I could get off of it because I just didn't want it to take it over. But um, as I said before, uh, this is my first Napa cabbage. So it has a nice little head right there in it. And um, I'm excited about it. So I went ahead and harvested it so that aphids wouldn't take it but I think it's nice looking I'm excited about it so that's my harvest for today 
so last Saturday I came out did not come with my camera though but I came out and I planted my garlic and um, they didn't come up yet but they uh, I planted them right here where I had uh, I planted them right here where I had my uh, sweet potatoes So yeah, I just got them here. That's where the sweet potatoes were planted. And um, our lawn guy had brought us like four bags of mulched leaves where he had chopped them up in somebody else's yard. And, um, <laughs> and he brought them over here. So that's what I have used for mulch on them. And um, so uh, maybe in another few days or a couple weeks or something we will start to see some uh, garlic coming up out of there we also went ahead and covered the beds with the uh, tarp and um, put cinnamon on those ants back there and um, we didn't get my sister's bed up yet, but um, those containers will be coming out and um, we'll use that soil for that bed. My sister's new bed over here. Uh, this is the melon mound, the melon patch. Uh, I want to amend it and I want to put some back, uh, some black fabric down as well but I'll probably cover it with um, a great big tarp that I have that I think will fit over that and so I just want to put some just kind of amend it some and uh, pull away all that old grass and stuff away but um, that's the garden right now it's pretty much resting um, all those pots and containers back there as well as these here um, have straw and this one I don't know where the straw is <laughs> it uh, I gotta put some more straw in here I don't know it's got some places there that don't have straw but I believe those are ants because it's ants on the ground right there. So it's probably straw and the ants have made their way in there. So that's all that I have to show you all. I'm still just trying to um, fight ants and aphids over here, but I'm still getting harvest, you know, so but I'm sorry that I have not been out here in the garden to let you all see what's going on. Um, the burn pile is still just, the burn pile over there is still laying there. It's breaking down, but it's huge. And um, we can't burn because it's wet. I mean, it's because it's windy. And, um, somewhat dry but uh, so that's the burn pile it is huge and my sister is itching to burn it <laughs> but we can't she took out uh, a lot of her flowers today and uh, she cleared out a lot and um, so is how everything is looking and she had some canna plants and the banana the banana is trying to come back because he has been in the 70s and been getting into the 80s so it just wants to grow but uh, a canna's that was here um, she took those down she just cut them down and so 
that's all that I have. I hope that you all are doing well in your gardens. Um, I think that the weather is probably cooperating with you all. But I um, hope you all are being able to still harvest. Uh, the pests has not been bothering you and everything is going well. That's what I hope that is going on with you all. And um, you just have to be thankful for whatever you can get. Uh, so many people who don't have and is not able to do this. Um, and so um, just thankful. Uh, I see some thyme over there that I should probably harvest, but I'll do that later. So I am going to end the video here. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you have not already and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload content. So you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.